Day wonder. Still got the original shine on those bars. Lieutenant Grayson to see the adjutant. He's not in, sir. The colonel said he'd see himself. Thank you. Go right in, sir. Thank you. Lieutenant Grayson reports for duty, sir. That is, Lieutenant. Welcome to Camp Shelby. Thank you, sir. This your first assignment since receiving your commission? Yes, sir. Well, Lieutenant, it's a rough one. The platoon you're taking over is just ready to start training, and as you may have noticed, our facilities are not all that they might be. We're short of officers, short of equipment, short of everything except trainees, and they're coming in by the carload. This is a brand new outfit, a new kind of outfit. No precedent for it except one battalion that was activated in Hawaii, and they haven't been tested yet. What do you think of the idea, Lieutenant? Well, sir, I'd like to make a request. What is it? I'd like your permission, sir, to put in for a transfer to the 36th Division. You see, sir, I'm from Texas. What has that got to do with it? Nothing, sir, except that the 36th is an old Texas National Guard outfit, and I've been in it ever since I got in the Army. That is, until they sent me to OCS. I never would have gone if I'd thought... Sir, I just took it for granted that I'd go back to the 36th. And you're sure that's the only reason you have for wanting a transfer? Yes, sir. No objection to working with the kind of troops we have here? Because they're Japs? Oh, no, sir, nothing like that at all. Now, let's get a couple of things straight, Lieutenant. First, there's not going to be any transfer. You're staying here. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Second, they're not Japs. They're Japanese Americans, Misei. Or as they call themselves, Buddha heads. All kinds of Buddha heads, Lieutenant. From Hawaii, Alaska, California, New York, Colorado, yes, and even some from Texas. They're all American citizens and they're all volunteers. Remember that. And another thing. We officers are referred to as Howleys, not white men. Any questions? No, sir. Report to your company commander. Sergeant Major will show you it was orderly room. That'll be all, Lieutenant. Sorry to keep you waiting, Lieutenant. Captain Solari. That's right. That's our regimental slogan. Go for broke. It's pigeon English for shoot the works. Pull up a chair, Lieutenant. Right. I'll be with you in a minute. Tell me, sir. Do you use live ammunition in the rifle range? The Jap's a Jap, eh? All I know is they were put under armed guard and relocation centers last year. Maybe the Army just had some surplus barbed wire they wanted to use up. Was that it? The Army was facing an emergency at the start of the war, a possible invasion by Japanese troops. So all Japanese Americans were evacuated from the West Coast. There was no loyalty check, no screening, nothing. If there were any spies among them, I can assure you they're not in the 442. Every man in this outfit has been investigated, reinvestigated, and re reinvestigated. I suggest you start getting acquainted. Your platoon sergeant's over in the supply room, O'Hara. O'Hara? That's right, Takashi O'Hara. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Come back. 
back here. How long have you been in the Army, soldier? Let me see now. Maybe I, I've been inside uh, two, three months. How long have you been inside, Lieutenant? Don't you know you're supposed to hold your salute till an officer returns it? Oh, sure. Sometimes forget. Sometimes forget to say sir, too, don't you? Sometimes. Well, don't forget it anymore. No, sir. That's your own uniform? Sir, that's the smallest size he got, the supply sergeant. Sir? Well, roll those sleeves down. I hold salute, sir. Why are you wearing leggings with a Class A uniform? To keep my pants up, sir. Long like that. Well, get him cut down. Oh, yes, sir. Pete, I'll go see the tailor, sir. You better see somebody today before I see you again. All right, man. All I want to see is backboards and elbows. Come on. And he made it. Little Phoebe. Pretty little Phoebe. Watch that stuff, huh? Get your money down, suckers. It all rides. Go for it, bro. Gee, break them up, break them up. New lieutenant outside. Must be the one for us. Oh, boy. Eight feet tall and mean like anything. Number one manini guy. Chicken. Well, the honeymoon's over. Mix me up. Only say outfit. How come how the officers? That's just to make us a little more miserable. First, they pick up the crummiest camp in the United States. Why'd you ever enlist? That's what I want to know. Why? Because a wise guy, college man like you, snowed me under with a lot of fancy talk. You guys from relocation centers. Okay, you probably got it better here. But me, I was on the outside. Iowa. A free man knocking off 500 bucks a month. 500 bucks? No. 500 bucks, yeah. Chick sexing. I can look at a day old chick and tell you if it's a he or a she. <laughs> now, who'd want to know that except another chick? You pay for the poultry feed and you'd want to know. A uh, he ain't no good at all when it grows up. Only the she's. How come chicken farmers no can find out themselves? Too bashful? You funny, man. Chick sexing is a science. It was developed in Japan and it's one field where Buddha head gets a break. Mean to say you never heard of it? I just got as far as the birds and the bees. These college guys are sharp, you know that? <coughs> Four years at USC, and he's a bona fide recognized fruit peddler. Yes, sir, a fruit peddler with an architect's degree. I could have got a job as an architect if I kept trying. Well, why didn't you? It's just my eyes. Couldn't handle all that close work. Yeah, eye trouble. That's what it was. All you need is corrective glasses to take the slant out of your eyes. Ah, chick, 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 chick. Hey, Kutong, take it easy, huh? Ah, chick. Come on, get it down. Okay. Fuck and I have one more, one more. Boy, oh boy. You are lucky, Kutong. Hey, so, uh, I wish I got packages like that. You and me both. You sent package. Yeah, hand me those cans, will you? Where are you going to send? Brother in the army in Pacific? Uh-uh. Family in a relocation camp in Arizona. Arizona, USA. You think that child here is bad, brother. You can even get sold. Oh, sure. They've got a canteen loaded with stuff. Anything you want, if you can get there before they're sold out. Yes, sir. All the comforts of home. And only one block from the barracks to the toilets and showers. Barracks? Everybody all thrown together? We've got partitions. Separate room for each family. My folks are lucky. Only five of them since I left. Treat you like that? Hard to figure why a guy volunteer for the army. We have to do something, so we never get a deal like that again. We sure. We sure must put ahead good soldiers, good Americans. That's the idea. I hope it works. Sure it works. I read a lot of stuff in newspapers about the 442. Yeah, all we need now is casualty lists. Gee, that's a pretty girl. What her name? Terry. Terry. Nice name. Your wife? Not yet. What do you mean? This is a great time to be starting a family, isn't it? You could talk funny, guys. Boy, if I had a girl like that, they gotta draft me. No volunteer. No, sir. 
draft me and drag me away. Oh, once more. Go for broke. Once more. That's all I ask. Natural. Seven. Oh. Let me see those dice. Here, cut. At ease. Men, this is Lieutenant Grayson, our platoon leader. Pick up that money. Pick it up. Yes, sir. Donation for the company fund, Sergeant. Give it to Sergeant O'Hara. Can he do that? It's my money. I want that man's name, Sergeant. There's no talking after the command at ease. Yes, sir. This man, no dog tags, needs haircut, window unwashed, uniforms hanging wrong way, haircut, shave, bunk out of line, dog tags, window, beer can on shelf, dirty floor, dirty boots, haircut, window, bowl of milk on floor, bowl stolen from mess hall, brought cat into barracks, floor, boots, dog tag, haircut, dust on rafters, window, haircut, dog tags, boots, bunk out of line, litter on floor, boots. Forget the book, Sergeant. They're all on the list. You men will fall out for a speed hike at 8 o'clock tonight. Before that, I want this Hutman G.I.'d. Get them started on it right away, Sergeant. Floor scrubbed, rafters dusted, windows washed, boots shined, bunks made. I want those blankets stretched so tight that when you drop a quarter on them, it'll bounce. I'll be back twice a day from now on with a pair of white gloves and a quarter. You're a chicken expert. What do you make of him? I want to go back to my little grass shack, back in Kalkiku, Hawaii. I want to be with all the connies and wahines that I knew long ago. I can hear the old guitars playing. Fuck, it's out of What did he say? I didn't hear anything, sir. Bakatari, what does that mean? Sorry, sir. I don't speak Japanese. Boots, dog tag, window, dust on rafters, floor, boots. Boots. Blankets not tight enough. Shirt unbuttoned, boots, window, floor. All right, up and over. Go back and try it again. I'm going to wait right here until everybody makes it. teach you dirty tactics. I will now demonstrate a grip against which there is absolutely no defense. The sergeant will now try to get free. Well, sergeant, you want me to try, sir? Of course I want you to try. Very well, sir.
was a kiss of death, brother. A kiss of death. Yeah, the big brass figures were ripe. I can smell that salt air already. Take another sniff, will you, and see if it's a Pacific. Yeah, that's what I'm sweating now. You and me both. Nobody want to go Pacific but me. Well, I keep trying. Every time they ask for volunteers. Tommy, you have to speak perfect Japanese. It's for combat intelligence, interpreters. They don't want boot-ahead riflemen in the Pacific. Why? Look, Tommy, a million guys fighting an enemy that looks like us. What if a GI sniper spots you or me? He see uniform. Yeah, and probably figure we're spies. Sam, I tell you something. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm going to tell you. Pearl Harbor did a place to come. You can only read it. I can see it. Pretty soon I go volunteer for the 100th Battalion. Too young. When by the 442 come up, I volunteer again. Too small. Next time I stand on my toes a little bit. Okay, I'm in. They send us Europe. Sure, I go and fight. No better do I fight the ones who bombed the island. It's the same enemy, Tommy. Maybe for you. Pearl Harbor Day. Two people visit friends near Honolulu. They both been killed. My mother, Sam. My father. Malcolm! Hey, you got my brother in 100 battalion. Mail for Tommy. You go. No mail for Tommy. Nagashuk Shuki. William J. Nishigoka. Leonard S. Uchigaki Uchi. Uchigaka Uchi. Harry. Ikigani. Joseph T. Kamakura. Sam W. Toyotomi. Toyotomi. Tomatsu. Yishizaki. Totoshi. Shimabukuro Tenshugi. Shima. Shimabukuro Tenshugi. Shima George W. Thanks. Fujimoto. Thomas H. Scuttlebutt on where this scow has taken us? I was just going to ask you, Lieutenant. so sure we're going to England. Because that's where the line formed for the invasion of France. And it's coming off any day now. That's us. Shock troops. Just in time. They used up the 100 battalion at Casino. But anyway, it won't be the Pacific. How do you know? You ever hear the Panama Canal? Hey, Sam, what you think? Maybe so, huh? Well, if it's the Pacific, we've been sailing three days in the wrong direction. The navigator don't know. Nobody knows. Drives you nuts. Oh, I'll get it. Thank you, Lieutenant. For 20 years, the Italian people have been fed on bunk. Their propagandists declared that all of our people look upon Italians with contempt, regarding them as a race of hand organ men and banana peddlers. 
we know that such statements are lies. Racial prejudice is abhorrent to our American concept of democracy. Naples, with its old world history, majestic Vesuvius, the castle of St. Elmo, the famous churches, the magnificent harbor, second to none in all the world. These and many other historic sites are of interest to the soldier. Take advantage of this opportunity. See as much as you can. You've got a great chance to do now, major expenses paid, what will cost you a lot of your own money after the war. You'll want to poke around in quaint, out-of-the-way places, and the only way to do that is to walk. Be sure to allow plenty of time in Naples so you can take it all in at a nice, leisurely pace. Start your promenade at the harbor. The Italian practice is to have a siesta hour sometime between 1 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If this custom remains in vogue during occupational period, you will save time and patience by confining your shopping to other hours. Continuing our tour of picturesque Italy, we come to the Via Casalina, which leads directly to Rome. The districts around Rome are full of places of historical interest, and transportation is excellent. Take a break. Take ten. Everybody writes but the Buddha is. Have you? I don't think so. Where are you going? Same place as you, Paisan. Haven't you heard? We've been attached to the 442. One big happy family. No kidding. Right on, go here, top three. Back at that. What was that? I said very sorry. Sorry, sir. Within easy reach of Rome are the medieval towns of Tuscany, sleepy little villages scarcely touched by the march of civilization. Take ten! Hello, John. Ah, buongiorno, signorina. Guarda un po', un americano che parla l'italiano, è meraviglioso. Tu parli l'italiano, sì? Uh, non capisci. Oh, non capisci l'italiano? No, but I'd like to learn. Ah, oh, che alto. The door open? Cosa dice? The door, the door. It's open, Lieutenant. Grazie, signorina. The lady's gonna mend this for me. Call me when the word comes down to move out. Yes, sir. The eyes of taxis are upon you all the long day. You know, I got a hunch you're coming into a bottle of vino. Maybe. Yeah, I just got a feeling the lieutenant's gonna take care of us.
see ya. Break's over. Let's go! All right, on your feet. I forgot to tell him we're moving out. Holy mackerel. What'll I do? Close it up. <laughs> Vado a mettere in ordine, eh? Ancora vino, darling? Oh, sì, signorina. Per? Uh, per uh, favore? Eh, bravo! Mm, che scolaro! Vedrai che imparerai presto, ne sono sicuro. Il suo vino, signore. Grazie, signore. Salute. E felicità. Lo conosci forse, tuo amico? Come again, per favore? Amico, friend. No, I don't know him. Your friend, huh? Sì. Smith. John Smith. Capitano John Smith. Glad to meet you, sir. Che bravo ragazzo. Me lo ricorderò sempre. Era tanto generoso. Vedi questi? John Smith. E questo. John Smith? Don't tell me where you got that good conduct, Ruben. Let me guess. Cosa dice? How about some vino, eh? Con piacere, darling. That's my old outfit. Where did you get this? Who gave it to you? John Smith. John Smith, huh? Is he still around here? When did you see him last? Cosa dice? Oh, Cosa dice. I gotta find somebody to talk English. I'll be right back. Joe! Joe! Grayson! Your platoon's dug in over there. Come here a minute, will you? I've got a message for you from the Colonel. He was up here inspecting our positions. The Colonel? That's right. He said to tell you he was particularly pleased with the way your platoon was deployed. Thanks for covering up. And now I'm supposed to say you're welcome, and that's that until the next time, huh? There won't be any next time. Don't worry about that. I'll tell you when to leave. You're such a stickler on military courtesy for your men. From now on, you and I are going by the book, understand? Yes, sir. I don't mind telling you, Grayson, if there was any chance of getting a replacement for you, I'd have had you court-martialed for this. Ever since you joined the outfit, you've been the one man in this company who's been out of step. You'd better pick it up, Lieutenant, and pick it up fast. Or you're going to find yourself volunteering for every dirty detail that comes up. Is that clear? Yes, sir. That'll be all. It was in the moon above. Did you do a good job, Lieutenant? in love. It was just those eyes, those beautiful eyes. Where's Kamakura? Sam? Out looking for water, Lieutenant. How do you like that? Dying of thirst in the middle of a river. I want to see him the minute he gets back. Yes, sir. Masami, Eddie, Vino, fresh off the vine. Salute. Good air, Paisan. Ocole Maluna. Mahalo. Free sample. Thanks. Oh, 
Anybody home? Keep me covered. You okay, Masami? Just a scratch. Jerry Intelligence Officer. The great at disguises. <laughs> Hi, up ice, huh? Coming in a lot closer if those Jerry's were still in that observation post. One of them was an officer, you say? Oh, yes, Colonel, sir. Well, you certainly earned that. Take this over to S2, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Too bad about that 100th Battalion man. What did they say at the aid station about the other one that was wounded? Million dollar wound, sir. They're sending him back to Rome. Good. Well, anytime you're in the neighborhood, drop in. Thank you, sir. I mean that. I want to keep in close touch with you men of the line. They've been treating you all right? Yes, sir. You're sure now? No complaints? No, sir. Well, good luck to you. Sir, could I have a word with you? Of course. At ease, Lieutenant. You remember, sir, that I told you I came from the 36th Division? Remember it very well. Well, sir, I just happened to hint that the 36th is somewhere in this area. Was, Lieutenant. They're way up ahead of us now. Oh, well, in that case, sir... Still like to get back in the Texas Army, eh? Oh, no, sir. I was just uh, hoping I'd get a chance to visit them. Well, I'll do better than that. If we ever meet up with the 36, I'll try and work out a transfer. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Not at all. It'll be a pleasure. That'll be all, Lieutenant. It's all right, boy, son. Maybe you know me scared, too, huh? 
Gives a man a nice feeling knowing you can always go to the old man if you're not getting a fair shake, huh, Lieutenant? Sure, I feel bad about forgetting to call you when we moved out of that town this afternoon. You see the way it happened? Forget it, forget it. I can't. It was all my fault. And they might have had you up for desertion. Well, it'll never get out. The men will keep it quiet. I'll see to that, sir. Thanks, thanks. Squad leaders up front. 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 Are you from the 100th Battalion? Yeah. What happens when a man gets hit? <laughs> Sometimes they yell. Sometimes they don't. Squad leaders don't last long. I mean, the medics, how do they get to you? Medics, medics! Get on the other side of the road. Hit it. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Squad leaders up front. 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 What are you waiting for, Sergeant? I forgot. Hey, you better move, Sam. Maybe you're going to shake. Mm. Have a good time, Frank. How can I miss Rome, the greatest architecture in the world? 24 hour passes. Big hearted, ain't they? I'm going to see a lot of things in the next 24 hours I've dreamed about all my life. The Forum, St. Peter's, the Pantheon. Any other outfit, I bet they get three day passes. Yeah, not just one man at a time either. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Relax. That reminds me, Tommy, I hear we're having chicken for dinner. No, Joe. Yeah, I was talking to one of the cooks, fried chicken. Good boy. That's what I like best. Not me. You know what I like best? Barbecued pork. <laughs> yes, sir. There's nothing like barbecued pork. Especially the way I make it. L'amore, l'amore. E domandagli se gli piace il vino. You like a vino, Joe? Ah, no, you're not for sale. Tre litri. Three bottles, Joe. Not for nothing. Quattro. 
5, 6, 7, 8 giorni. Waste time, come on, fai so. Ti prego, per piacere. Fame, fame. Hungry, hungry. Ok, plenty meat on her. Pensi che lo mangiamo? No eat, no eat. Oh no, no. Signore, signorina. Ta ra ra ra, ra 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 ra. Papà, mamma, bambino. Uno, due, tre, quattro. Oh. Hai sani in canaiafo, papà, no? Dici che è troppo giovane. Sì, 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 aspettiamo. We wait. Tre mesi. Tre mesi. Beh, tre, quattro, può essere anche cinque. Arrivederci. Nove bottiglie, Gio, dieci. Nine bottle, ten. No! No, papà. Hey, Tommy, what I got? Cookie. Here, help yourself. Pass on, too. He don't like cookies. Maybe bambinos, eh? Sure, go ahead. Who that from, Sam? Your mother? Jerry. Hey, remember that time we took Superetto? It was on a news broadcast, coast to coast, and they mentioned it 442. No kidding! I'm telling you, and there have been newspaper stories, lots of them. The hundredth getting the presidential citation from General Mark Clark. Sassetta, here 140. Hey, let me see that. Oh, you like that. They're gonna let your kid brother leave relocation camp and work on a farm. Next month, you're gonna pick sugar beets in another hole. Well, what do you know? He's been trying to swing that deal for months. Good boy. All okay, nobody's sick. Oh, oh excuse, Sam. That's okay. I'll read the rest to you. Honestly, Sam, you'd hardly recognize the old homestead. Maybe it looks the same. The barracks, the barbed wire, the MPs. But it isn't the same anymore. Nothing's the same. Because everybody knows what the 442 is doing. And what means most to me is a change in the kids in my class. She teaches in camp school. I know, I know, first grade. They were just sad little people. Never laughed, never made a sound. Today, I'm happy to say, I have as noisy a classroom as you'll find in America. More better now, eh, Kutong? Looks that way, can I go plenty better now. I miss you so very much, my darling. I can't find words to tell you how dear you are to me. How... Just want to let you know we're back, sir. Oh, good. You're just in time. Oh, thanks. Sergeant, have the driver report to the motor pool, will you? Yes, sir. He's got a full tank, sir. All set to go with the next batch. I was all set to go, too. Change of orders. We're going back on the line. That's kind of rough. Somebody was telling me your folks came from Rome. A little town near there. Oh, well, I'll get to see it someday. Sure you will. Hey, we met up with some of your folks while you were gone. Your old outfit. The 36th? They passed us on their way back. The Texas Wonders had all they could take, so they called him a 442. Where'd they go? The word is they're being moved to another theater of operations. Is that straight? Looks like you're stuck with us for the rest of the war. Guy gets in to fight the Japs and winds up fighting with them. It's a hot one when you come to think of it. Oh, I don't know. A lot of us had parents who were born in enemy countries. Italian-Americans, German-Americans. That's different, sir, and you know it. Why? Well, it's just... The shape of their eyes? Or is it the color of their skin? Tell the truth, sir. Wouldn't you rather be with some other outfit? If I know of a better outfit. But I don't. Will that be all, sir? You don't have to be so formal. It was your idea to go by the book. That was a long time ago. I'll see you later. How 
was it, Lieutenant? Great. I hope the supply sergeant takes good care of your pig. Yep, I sure hope he feeds him good so he'll be nice and fat when we get back off the line. Hey, Frank, look, look at that. Must be an old Roman villa. Yeah, you can tell it's Roman by those columns. Rubber from another war, huh? It's hard to believe. Over 2,000 years old. The battles that must have been fought around here. Napoleon, Charlemagne, Caesar, Alexander the Great. All the way back to biblical times. No better we fight like biblical times. I read in the Bible. Your army pick number one man. Enemy pick number one man. Number one big fight. Two men, one killed, war over. I nominated Lieutenant Grayson for our side. No, I wouldn't know who to root for. It's some kind of headquarters, all right. And it looks like they're getting ready to pull out. Yeah, with all their maps and records. And one machine gun's holding us back. A little more to the right. 30 yards. You got any more? Be right back. 30 yards to the right. Can you hear me? Yeah, how's this? Come on, let's take a walk. Hey, you over there! Not you! You take over, O'Hara. Columns will be here for the next war. How about that motor? Right away. I gotta move it.
What kind of troops are these? Chinese? Japanese. Didn't Hitler tell you? Japan surrendered and they're fighting on our side now. Well, it beats walking. Maybe walking through Italy wasn't so bad. Didn't you get the latest latrinogram? We're shipping out. Shipping out? And so we take leave of sunny Italy and sail the seven seas to... To where? My guess is the Pacific. You really think so, Lieutenant? Yeah, but don't worry about it. I haven't guessed right once since I've been in the Army. Watch that stuff! I told you to go easy on that leg. Plenty okay now, Lieutenant. Well, what did you leave the hospital for? I've been still, Lieutenant. Three weeks. Long time, sir. Don't you realize officially you're AWOL? I don't know whether to put you in for a silver star or have you court martial. Gotta leave hospital, sir. Big room, 442, going Pacific. Me plan is sad sack. Get left behind, huh? Sir, maybe we still gonna fight Japan. You think so, maybe? No, Tommy. It's definitely French. <laughs> Bad cop, I catch him in a hospital. <laughs> More better now. See you, good. <laughs> well, goodbye, Lieutenant. <laughs> goodbye, Tommy. You are about to play a personal part in pushing the Germans out of France. Just west of the Riviera district in southern France lies the port of Marseille. You will be fortunate indeed if you are stationed in this fascinating city. However, the chances are you will be located in the provinces. Rooms with private bath are still deluxe in provincial towns, and you won't always have steam heat. But there are many compensations. For instance, your breakfast will be brought to your bedroom without extra charge. <laughs> First class on French trains ranks with our extra fare trains. Second ranks with our parlor car. And third class is like our ordinary day coach. If French coaches are less comfortable than ours, remember that they are also less expensive. It all evens up. Who's got the time? 2.20, sir. Thanks. Who do you think ought to see about it, sir? S1 personnel. They assign the new replacements. But they're not going to put two brothers in the same platoon. My kid brother's got away with him, sir. And he's just liable to talk them into it. Bad enough being in the same regiment, with the same platoon. Yeah, I hate for my folks to get two telegrams from the War Department on the same day. Where are you going? I think I'll ride with my platoon, sir. Kind of overdoing the third business, Lieutenant. I keep forgetting. And here I've been an officer for two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> How are you doing, Grayson? Hey, Sam, you think Terry okay? Sure, it was just a little cold. I feel more better when the mail catch up. Long time you don't get mail. I wonder how my brother's making out. Me too. I guess he worked on a sugar beet farm already two, three weeks. Hey, oh, how are we want the mail. Write your congressman. It ha! As you work. Get it on, man. How do you like that? Do they give a commission to one of us boot heads? No, they give it to the Mick. O'Hara, the fighting Irishman. Fair, then you can say that again. Now get along with your blarney. I've got something to tell you. That is, that is. Let's be having a little military courtesy. Yes, sir. I uh, haven't been assigned yet, but it looks like I'll be taking over another platoon. I probably won't be seeing much of you guys. I just wanted to say, well, so long. He gonna make good platoon leader. Yeah, well, he lasts. He's welcome to them bars. Hey, 
Sam, look at those buildings. 17th century. I'm looking at that bakery. Go ahead, Tommy. I'll keep an eye on the pig. Stick close to the train, you guys. I'm tired of rounding up stragglers. Makatale. <laughs> what do you say? Well, that's Japanese for, for thank you. They're very polite. Uh, when did you learn that song? When? That's right. When did you learn it? Learn what? The, the song, song. The eyes of Texas are upon you. A room is awful. All oh, the dreams of me. No, no, no. Yeah. When you learn song? Ah, last week. Soldiers. 36th Division? I think so. Big T. Are they still here? No. Party. Yesterday. <laughs> Qu'est-ce qu'il y a avec ce type-là Oh, oh, oh c'est un Américain, voyons. <rire> well, well, the ambassador from Texas. Good afternoon, sir. You know, Lieutenant, I had you down as a determined man. But I didn't think you had enough drag to get the whole darned outfit transferred to the 36th. Transferred? That's right, Lieutenant. We've been attached to the 36th Division. I guess that makes us honorary Texans. Well, Fern Marlboro, keep an eye out for cattle rustlers, partner. But what do you know about that? I thought you'd be pleased, Lieutenant. This is the man we've been looking for, Major. One of the new combat commissions to replace him. Oh, there's one in his platoon, sir. O'Hara. Good, he can take over. Take over my platoon, sir? We've had a request for a liaison officer to work out of 36 headquarters. Someone who can get along with them and knows the 442 thoroughly. But, sir, I've always been on the line. Do you think I have the qualifications for a headquarters job? I think you'll make good when a man wants anything as badly as you've wanted this. But, sir, I don't want this. Remember I told you I just wanted to visit them. I've got a lot of friends in the 36th. None of them at headquarters, I take it. Sorry I couldn't arrange to have you sent back to your own platoon. Colonel Pence. Your orders will be issued immediately. All aboard, Texas Special. Dallas, Fort Worth, Galveston, Houston, all pouring south. Yeah, man. Yee-hoo! How do you do that? No, no, all aboard. Go on, man. Don't forget. Don't forget the right. All right, baby. Take it easy, honey. <laughs> How do you like that Texas artillery, stranger? Stranger? Me and I'm from Texas myself. Well, pull up a chair and have a mint julep. That's mighty nevertheless, friend, but we're heading back towards town. Another posse's gonna stall us for a bit. Tommy, sure right just to get back to that town where you left pies on. Ain't love wonderful? <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Aloha. There's only one thing I don't like about these buddy heads. They don't dig them long enough. Hello, my friend. He's here, the little paisan. He's here. Paisan. Hello, Paisan. You're looking good, boy. You're looking wonderful, Paisan. Come on, Paisan, you beautiful Paisan. Nice pig. He miss you much. I miss him too. Oh, thanks for taking care of him. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You are very kind. What's the matter? You don't smoke? Yes, I smoke. I was hoping Maybe something to eat for the children. Chocolate, crackers, anything. They have so little, so little to eat. 
I don't have anything to eat. Trade the cigarettes. Two packs. You can get a couple of chickens for that. Not here. No chickens left. Nothing. All right. I'll come back later. I hate to ask. It won't be much. All we get is care rations. It will be a feast for them. I wish I could get something better. Well, uh, see you later. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you very much. How wonderful for the children. Quelle chance nous avons mes parents. Stop a minute, huh? Send them out in the evening, just as the sun's going down. The enemy can't see him in that light. Get the idea? <laughs> the guy's been looking for trouble all night. If he makes one more hey. crack off. Fella, oh, hey, sir. How's the leg? It's like a fiddle. Hiya, Hiya fella. Hiya. Say, who's your friend, the one with all the stripes? They don't care who they make platoon sergeant anymore. How about having a refill with us, Lieutenant? Thanks, Frank. I want to say hello to somebody, my old platoon sergeant. I trained under him. Be right back. Cully! Grayson, how are you? Lieutenant Grayson. Yeah, how about that? How about a drink? Great, great. Come on, there's room down here. That guy would be a buddy of Grayson's. 5-2-1, he don't come back for that drink. Get it up. They tell me you really got it made. What is this liaison racket? Oh, it varies from a soft snap to an extra soft snap. Thank you. Tomorrow, I'm moving out with you. How do you like that? Back with the old platoon. You mean I got to take orders from you? Oh, I don't mess around with you dog faces. I'll be with the artillery observer. You're getting your artillery from the 442, and he's never worked with them before. They're sending us up without our own artillery? Just the Japs? They're a good outfit, Cully. Plenty good. Practically winning the war single-handed, from what I hear. Japs. Let's get out of here, huh? Yeah, I could use a little fresh air. You win, Chick. Japs in a Texas division. Man, oh, man. Wait a minute. Oh, 
Sully. They're not Japs. Huh? They're Japanese Americans. Nisei. Or if you prefer, Buddha heads. But not Japs. They don't like it, neither do I. What are you, a Jap lover or something? I said they're not Japs. I'm warning you, Cully. You're what? Warning you. Lieutenant, that gold bar looks real sweet on you. But I do believe you're getting a little big for your britches. I can always take the bar off. Any time you say. I can. Anything for my brother? No offer from Relocation Center. Sugar report from Terry. Dear Sam, I hate to start out a letter this way, but I think it's best to get the bad news over with first. Of course. You don't get better, huh? No, Terry's okay. Your mother been get sick? Your father? It's my brother. He been lose his job on a farm? Yeah, him and a couple of his buddies. A gang beat him to a pulp and said they'd lynch him if they ever came back. Why'd they do that? Why? Why? Because they've got slant eyes. That's a crime in some places. Didn't you know that? How do you like that? We're good enough to carry rifles, but we're not good enough to pick sugar beets. Take it easy, Sam. Sure, sure. Take it easy. Take it lying down. Go on, Didi. Blow off. And I've been telling you, suckers. That's what we are. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. How would you like a dental appointment? Let's go, boy. But don't break it up. If you're looking for a scrap, you won't have long to wait. We've been alerted. Pull your tents down and get ready to move out. Pull them down? We just put them up. The men Lieutenant Grayson moved out with have been surrounded. The whole battalion? What's left of them. Grayson's okay so far. Artillery observer got hit and he took over. Just so the lieutenant is safe. Him and his buddy. His dear old platoon sergeant. What's up with Sam? He just got some bad news. He's not the only one. They're gonna send the new replacements up online as soon as they arrive. The batch my kid brother's in. Eighteen years old. Wildcat 6, this is Wildcat 2. Fire mission over. Fire mission point. Fire mission point. Fox A, Belize Baker, Mike Charlie. And point, King Sugar Charlie, Love, Abel Howe. Wildcat 2, this is Wildcat 6. Stand by. One round smoke on way. One round smoke on way. Zur 338 Division Niffar? Ich habe nichts zu sagen. Und Sie werden keine Auskunft von irgendeinem anderen deutschen Soldaten bekommen. Ich frage nur, ist das wahr, was deine Kameraden schon gesagt haben? Ich habe nichts zu sagen. Can't get a thing out of this one, sir. And we got enough from the others. Send them over to Division Headquarters. Ralph! Get anything? Yes, sir. Added to what we already know, I can give you a pretty clear picture. Good. It's all dense woods. Those roads on the map are just forest trails, and Jerry has roadblocks on all of them. The men are surrounded on three sides by elements of the uh, 
338th Infantry Division, the 198th Fusilier Battalion, and the 202nd Mountain Battalion. To the northeast... Well, let me see it on the map, Captain. Well, starting here, the Germans are dug in a continuous line all the way around to here. There's a gap here and one here that I know of, but they're covered by machine guns with interlocking fire. There's a steep ridge here that dominates this sector. It's almost straight up on both sides, and they have a strong force sitting up on top. How far away from here is the Lost Battalion? Well, I'd say a thousand yards. They're just about here. We'll have troops within striking distance tonight. All right, O'Hara, this is your spot. Good luck. Come on, shake a leg, will you? This don't make sense, sticking our necks out for guys like that buddy of Gracie's. That sergeant, that's the kind ganged up on your brother. We get to the lost battalion, that sergeant gonna change his mind about us, put heads. Plenty of people already we changed this, huh? Keeps up like terrible in writing letters. Come by, we gonna have it good. You bet. Yes, sir. Good thing you read me letters, or maybe I'll go get like chick. It's rough. It's plenty rough. But we know what's it all about. You bet. More better we go for broke, yes, Sam? That's about it, Tommy. More better we go for broke. Glad you have someone to lean on. I don't seem to recognize you. Have you been back to any of the services? No, Father. I'm not Catholic. You're not? Different kind of rosary. I'm Buddhist, Father. I'll be here if you want me. Contact. Piper Cup's calling the shots for artillery. They're trying to shoot us in some rations. That'll be a big help. Sukiyaki and rice. I could use another man. The Piper Cub pilot says there's at least a hundred of them on this ridge. They'll be shooting right down our throats. We try to come up from either side. Our engineers have been cutting through a road on top of the ridge so we can bring up a tank. And they're about here now. Once that tank gets within range... When will that be? Well, it's hard to say, sir. It's slow going. Minefields all over the place. Tell division headquarters I'm on my way back, will you? Give me a take a Me cut a car. You say now, Nihongo de Hanashi wa shiro. The Jays have been tapping a wire, sir. Some of them speak perfect English. Kimi no butai no ichiwa Nihongo de shase. Wildcat 3, Wildcat 3, Sergeant Yasugamoto speaking. Sugi ni shirasu nakatta ra yahou de kogeki shiru. 
Wildcat 3, this is Wildcat 4. Come in, Wildcat 3. You stay a kind fort. Wildcat 3, Wildcat 3, Sergeant Yasugamoto speaking. Wildcat 3, Wildcat 3, Sergeant Yasugamoto speaking. Tokaikyu to Bongo Ananda. Good idea, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. It's just that good old Yankee know-how. Oi, me say now, Nihongo de Hanashi Wosho. If I was a jury on the end of this ridge and a tank got close enough to fire point blank, I'd take off like a ruptured duck. Yeah. Right over the side of the ridge. There ought to be somebody down there to meet him. That's what I was thinking. Let's go. Hey, Sergeant! Sergeant! Where's Lieutenant O'Hara's platoon? This is it. We're your new replacements. O'Hara's the name. Another suntan Irishman. Come on. O'Hara! That's it. That was it, a week ago. Let's have that password. One, two, fuck it, Toddy. Come on out. Make him give me the right password. You ever hear a Jerry try to pronounce a Japanese word? If that's not a Buddha head, I'll. You what? Sam, check, Tommy. A whole battalion's lost, and we got to find them. Man, I never thought I'd be so happy to see a bunch of Jap. <laughs> Pardon me, Japanese. I mean, Nisi. No, that ain't it. What is it, Grayson? Butterheads. OK, OK. Butterheads, huh? 
Tesserite? He sure is touchy about that. One time he even slugged me. Slugged you, huh? Did you hear that, Chick? Where's the rest of your outfit, Lieutenant? Back there about a mile. But it took us hours to get here, on our bellies most of the way. When do we start? Not enough of us will make it to do him any good. What do we do, Lieutenant? That's up to you, Sam. I'm strictly a liaison officer. Skirmish line up the hill. 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 Line up the hill. Tell me up something, Sam. Line. What does Bakatari mean? <laughs> well, freely translated, you're a heel. A stupid jerk in a heel. Well, that was putting it mildly. Go for bro! You guys want a cigarette? you all. I'll be seeing you. Aloha, partner. <laughs> Secretary of War, in the name of the President of the United States, as public evidence of deserved honor and distinction, 
The 442nd Regimental Combat Team is cited for outstanding accomplishment in combat. The gallantry and esprit de corps displayed by their officers and men in bitter action against a formidable enemy exemplify the finest traditions of the armed forces of the United States.